Hey there, everyone. This is Alcow, and uh, yeah, whoa, check it out. We're here. Uh, oh, I cannot know. That's a uh, that's a filter that's on, and make sure I'm Mario. Yeah, today is Winter Sweaters Day, and there was no letters or anything. Like I knew it was digital, but like there was a folder, and all the fold there was a text file in it, but all it said was put this in a world folder in Smebex. So uh, <laughs> boing. boing! So here we are, we're playing Smebex, no real context, here's a Luigi, uh, and this is play- this is called, uh, Getting Over It Together, is the name of the file I'm playing. It's a go together, now I got the Luigi Force. Is he following me? Ooh, is he like Shadow Marioing me? Maybe. Wah! Rude. Wah! Super rude! Okay, alright, got it. Well, okay, yeah, and we are physically getting in each other's way. Train sound! Need the two Luigis. Alright, I get it now. That's why at Bros it says two out of twelve. Okay, now things uh, are gonna get shenanigan shape. Got it. Check it out, Supportal. Now I got a Luigi on me. Yeah! And check out how there's another portal, there's even more Luigi's on me. Someone get them out, it's kinda gross, I will agree. Giving a big boost though, it's pretty useful. But now it's just going to get into a mess, but that's okay. Check out it's a lady here. Yeah, maybe, I guess, I don't know, don't worry about it. Do a little dance on top of this bowl mechanic. Yeah, that's why we do, and now I remember. Oh, one of my favorites. Th Ooh, whoop, okay, well I guess I'm down here now. There's been a weird tradition of things featuring my thumbnails. Oh shoot! And this is feeling like a little bit of what we got going. Game train never stop. Wait, so this is not where we're going? I thought this is where we wanted to go, okay, but like I need to find a switch then. Oh, it's down here. Got it. I didn't find this switch then. Oh boy, okay, I think just kinda got a bit completed. Complicated. Uh-oh, man, alright, look, man, I got- I need to have that set up to another way. Luigi's, you gotta get out of the way. Help. Oh, okay, 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 I managed to get out. That was my post. I just got out of the shower sneeze, so alright. Well, hopefully I got it out. Yeah, now the wheel is public. Here's a certain game. Here's a certain other game. Oh, I love the- I just love it. I don't know, it's so- so. That's when you're supposed to talk to her and not to do a big well thing. I can go down here and get on the floor. That's pretty amazing. Ah. There's Copy Kitty doing things. Check it out, it's a moon. Will I get the moon? Will I got the moon? Wait, how do we make it through here? Though, it's not clear. I mean, I'm probably- Oh, wait, you need to go underneath. Run underneath the wagon. Of, of course you do! It's the only thing that makes sense after all. Give me a boost. Self- uh, uh, Oh, boy. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, thank you for the boost, Luigi's! Last core! Once more! We got a big freaking out Bowser here. Whoa. Okay. Eight somewhere over this wall. I need help though. Doink doink. There we go. Now we go. It's nine o'clock. It's time to go. I can jump over a pit and check it out. It's Gene Gone Hand. This is a pretty good game. Big cat. And the super boss spec- No, wait, 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 uh-oh, well, uh, if there was anything behind I was supposed to get, I'm not getting it. The saddest Sonic. <laughs> Whoops, uh-oh, well, see, I fell down here, but that's okay. Because I got my brothers to help me back up. <laughs> this is the system we got. Oh boy, okay, uh, uh, no, yes, no, maybe, doesn't look like it, I'm sorry. Alright, thank you, alright, 10 out of 12. That one is locked up inside that truck. I uh, don't know what that means. Oh, but we're at the front. Okay, can I get out? I don't know. Next stop is the mount. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I need to find like a door. Oh, well, there you go. The door was found. 
<laughs> can I go in the chimney? No, but I can run in front of the train. Doesn't seem safe, but what the hell? Let's -a run! <laughs> okay, we're going. It's Pareto. I can't go in there. All right, well, well, I want to read that. The mountain. Well, there's a mountain we're gonna climb. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, help. I'm kinda stuck. Someone please free a duck. Okay, there's Mega Man. I'm kinda stuck. Okay, but once everyone's kinda stuck at the same place, it's all good. Kinda. So, okay. Oh, jeez. This is terrible. Help. Help. <laughs> 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 So I guess the idea is that I kind of make a strange... Oh, that's solid. Okay, the... The painting... The, the... 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 Yeah, that. The placard there is solid. That's a solid object. So you will bump against it. Even though I keep... Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, exactly. Dr. Mario. Oh, jeez, I don't know what's going on. Let's take a break. No! Don't take a break. That's gonna happen because there's a lot of y'alls. And you're kind of all super close. And that's pretty much that's all. All right, so here we go. Hey there, Nico. How's it going, buddy? Cup has a game I play this year. And one remember it. Yo, Sonic 4 gave me trouble, but it was okay. Noah was much better time. Ah, let me in, you fools! You foolish brothers! That's why we only let one of y'all in each game. Because when you're all together, it turns into a big old mess. There's a springboard I might need. Oh, check it out, it's a bird. Oh, hey, remember Survivor? That was in March, of course. Messenger! Speed Spotter, though, was a real highlight, I must say. Thanks for playing many ROM hacks and other games. Well, you're, you're welcome, Peach. I don't know why you care, but all right. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Oh, I want to talk. Merry one Christmas! Yeah, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to... Ha! Ha, 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 ha. Little play on a little phrase. Uh, that's pretty good. Do you remember how he got here, Toad? Uh, <laughs> that was so good. That was so good. Oh, that was so good. See, I always just kind of associate December with playing Smebex, and this is the kind of nonsense I love. Ah, uh, you didn't leave a letter or anything, but hey, Merry a Christmas, indeed. <laughs> All right, so hey, it's December twentieth. It's day eight, and uh, uh, yeah, um, if I'm gonna put this at the end of uh, the Smebex play, uh, I recorded that, you know, directly from the recording, like of the Smebex window, so eight hundred by six hundred. So for the ambush part, we're just not gonna be able to see anything. Please accept that reality. I mean, you can read the text. You can read the letter at the very least. That's what matters, I think. All right, we're doing it this way. It's gonna be awkward. Everyone thank me for that. It's John Plays Games. Cow Cow. Yo, I want to say thank you for 15 years of laughs and inspiration. Enjoy this game of the video variety, and Merry Christmas, game on, John plays games, John plays games. 15 years, that, that is, that is too many years. <laughs> how did that happen? How are we halfway through 30 years? Cause that's how I count time now. <laughs> Mutant muds. But specifically deluxe. Uh, love pixels, fond of platformers. There's a special place in your heart for the Aben 16 era. Uh, bit era. It doesn't say that part. Want to have fun? Yes! We've gone to the right place, my friend. Mutant Muds Deluxe. A 12 bit. What does 12 bit mean? That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Somewhere between 8 bit and 16 bit, there's the 8 bit. It's full of pixels and platforming fun. I don't like the copy of that text, but the game, like the, the screenshot looks... The thumbnail, which looks to just be a game screenshot, looks pretty good. Mutant Muds Deluxe. Alright, so like I said, we're not gonna see anything in this window.
Yeah, um... Well, interpret as much as you can. Ah, uh, you see... Okay, yeah, this is extremely... a video game. <laughs> see, there you missed it. Pixel-perfect platforming. I don't know if it's pixel, but... 80 challenging levels! I mean, that does look pretty challenging. There's spikes everywhere, it's... Wait, you got like a background! Hey, oh, it's one of the game doing this. They're doing a WarioWare land. Wario... Virtual Boy. Five unique 12-bit world. Uh, you couldn't read that part, so I had to say it out loud. Over 20 original chiptunes! Uh, yeah, that's a lot. Like, if you got five world, you got like four tunes per world, maybe? Unique ghost world level, that's a weird... I do not have any context to appreciate what that means. Uh, classic Neo Retro themes! Uh, also, you play as a nerd. Uh, utilize special power-ups. Is being a nerd one? Well, having a gun's probably one. <laughs> the most powerful power-up. Watch out for hazards! As as the trailer says to watch out, he got slammed by a big moving spike. So that kid ain't watching out. And this is Renegade Kid in, in the corner. That's probably the company. This is so awkward and I kind of love it. John! Thank you. <laughs> you play games that you gave me one. No, for real though, I don't know if I've heard- I think I've heard of that- this name somewhere before, but like, I don't- I don't have like, an immediate recollection. Well, that is different. So I clicked accept, and instead of putting a big window here, it's like, hey, so what you want to- want to do, it, it asks me here? Instead of doing a pop-up? That's weird! Don't just change things on me, Steam. I'm gonna freak out. Uh, on the eighth day of Christmas, you receive an adventure up north, says S.A. Jewer. Who's giving me a game every day, and there's like, I, as far as I can tell, I have not detected any form of theme yet. Kona Brim. Kona 2 Brim, but in the logo, you see the, the 2 is part of the Brim. Which is French for fog? Mist? Oh yeah, Kona 2, Northern Quebec, 1970. A bizarre mist, the brim, yeah, the mist, is disconnecting a rural mining village from its quiet reality. Step into the shoes of Detective, uh, uh, Detective Cal Faubert as he unfolds a mystery haunting the region while battling for his own survival. Yeah, but it's Kona 2. Do I have Kona 1? What about Kona 1? Ooh, launch trailer, trailer two months ago. Recent game. Of 1970, a chill gripped northern Quebec. Canada. Oh no. Oh, you said it in English. I thought you would chill say it in French. Not from the seasonal blizzard, but from uh -huh. the mystery buried deep. Some blamed it on the mines. Others thought it was something far more sinister. Ghost dog, wolf. But all called it the broom. Broom. Lives broom. Once filled with routine and stability. Changed. It's not broom. The icy wilderness and the creatures within it changed. Everything that was. Oh, jeez. I mean, you would be just dead if a moose decided to headbutt you like that. Oh, that one looked pretty small. Okay, I don't know if I've ever heard of this, but I mean, it looks pretty sweet. I'm not sure what kind of game it is. It's first person walk around the woods and get destroyed by nature, nature, nature game. Very popular genre. See, this did it normally. So why, why did, why did that one not do it normally? I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, I don't have to get it. It's not necessary that I get it, but I'm confused. Whoa, what? Uh, cow oh, wait a second. I think... Okay. They did it in the wrong order again. Alright, well... Spoilers. Cow Rao, the weirdest bayonet in history. Final Fantasy V has a dynamic difficulty system based on your character's levels. Also introduces a fan for... I have a Final Fantasy VIII story. Time of war, Galbadia, global superpowers, declared war on Dalet, country was training enemies, home to two personalities, a hothead cipher, and a lone wolf skull in art. What a bad byline. This is a byline that exists for people who already know what FF8 is. I've played, um, 
Final Fantasy VIII before. On PC, I had the PC version, and while my computer wasn't good enough to play it, my grandparent was, so I would play it there. They lived nearby, so like it wasn't an issue or anything. And I kind of enjoyed it, honestly. Like, I actually had a lot of fun with Final Fantasy VIII, especially Triple Triad, the, the card, the fan-favorite card game. Except, here's the thing. So, the game has a mechanic where there are regional rules for the card game, and there's ways to spread it and unspray it and stuff like that. But point is, I accidentally was spraying a rule that I did not like everywhere, and it ruined playing the card game for me, and I just stopped playing the game outright. I was like, I'm done. No, no. If, if I cannot play the good version of the card game, I'm done. And I stopped playing FF8 forever. <laughs> That's my Final Fantasy VIII story. I don't know, I don't know how common that is. I'm guessing it's not too common. I don't know what remastered is though. A game so nice you're getting it twice. I couldn't actually decide which version to give, so you're getting both of them. I mean, I guess, but what, how is it different? The mega hit RPG Final Fantasy VIII Returns, this Steam version, features new graphical enhancement and a host of options to customize your gameplay experience. So it's just more specifically made for modern computers. It's just kind of funny because like this Steam version, but I played this here, this guy's Steam version, I could play it on Steam. So it's just a funny way of putting it. So I wonder if Remastered came out first on Steam? And then they release Classic later? How does that work? Like, I just, there's a bit of, there's a strange thing. Maybe they were just never meant to be looked at. One next to another like that. But yeah, like, what does it do? Changes options. Uh, a lot of old RPGs, when they get re-released, they get, like, time manipulation options. Almost like devs realize that a lot of these games were weirdly time sinky for no real reason. So I wonder if it's part of that. Like, I doubt it'd be something like rebalancing or something. Because I feel like somehow I would have learned about it. I'm not sure how. Just, I feel like somehow I would have learned about it. But no, what am I basing that on? It's not like I've got my ears to the ground searching for RPG news. For FF8 news. So I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, SA Jewelers. Thank you, Amia. And thank you, John. Merry Christmas to all three of you. Whether you want to or not, you're just stuck with it now. You're just stuck with the merriment of my Christmas and you cannot do anything about it. That's right. 